Since DC Comics debuted in the 1930s, critics have described comic books as silly and childish. And I mean, they kind of have a point. No matter how much you love comics, watching men in tights chasing clowns and costumed criminals around the city sounds goofy as hell. Even though some villains like the Joker can be terrifying, it's still a little funny to watch him fighting Batman with jack-in-the-boxes and boxing gloves. But there are some villains that are not funny at all. Their backstories are haunting, their appearances are sickening, and their motivations will fuel your nightmares. Some of these villains have killed hundreds, others have a death toll in the billions. So with the cheery tone set, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 messed up DC villains you won't believe exist. 10. Humpty Dumpty Because of his disproportionately large body and his childlike mind, Humphrey Dumpler was ridiculed by bullies and was often compared to the nursery rhyme character Humpty Dumpty. Believing his bad luck wouldn't end unless he took matters into his own hands, Dumpler decided to fix anything that irked him. Despite the fact that he has good intentions, his repairs tend to make things worse. When he grew tired of his grandmother chastising him, he tried to fix her by hacking her to pieces and putting her back together with shoelaces. Despite this, however, he's not really evil or trying to do harm, but you know, he's just um, crazy and super messed up. 9. Ventriloquist Shauna Belzer the original ventriloquist, Arnold Wesker, is a timid man who acts out his murderous impulses through his ventriloquist dummy. As unstable as Wesker is, it's the third ventriloquist, Shauna Belzer, who is much more disturbing. She has telekinetic powers, which she uses to kill people. After she killed a clown at a birthday party, Belzer took his ventriloquist dummy as her partner in crime. Ferdy. Like Wesker, Belza absolutely believes her doll is alive. She subconsciously utilizes her telekinesis to make him move around, giving the illusion he is sentient. The puppet has drills in its hands, which it uses to skewer people who mistreat Belza. Probably the most disturbing thing about Belza is how she uses her psychic powers on corpses to fight on her behalf. 8. Dollmaker do you remember the time Joker had his face surgically removed? That operation was carried out by Barton Mathis, better known as the Dollmaker. When he was a boy, his serial killing father Wesley forced Barton to join him on his hunting trips. They would head to the woods, kidnap civilians, so Wesley could eat them. During one of these trips, Wesley was shot dead by the police officer Jim Gordon. Although this allowed Barton to finally be free of his father's wicked ways, he had become too accustomed to murder and so became a serial serial killer himself. He created a mask from Wesley's skin and took on the name The Dollmaker. Like father, like son, I guess. 7. Murmur Michael Amar was a respected surgeon before he developed schizophrenia. He became so unstable from his untreated development that he began killing any passerby and slicing off their tongues, hoping this would stop him from hearing voices. By the time he was arrested, the police tied 12 murders to him, but they believe he was responsible for at least 50. Because Amar has a nervous tick that causes him to speak about his crimes, he cut his own tongue off and sewed his mouth shut to avoid incriminating himself. The sad thing about Murmur is he's one of the few supervillains who led a normal life and was genuinely a nice person. His evil actions are purely because of the intense paranoia that developed in him as a result of untreated psychological issues. 6. Black Hand Due to being a creepy little death-obsessed weirdo from birth, William Hand was disowned by his family after killing the family dog. Crafting a costume from a body bag and arming himself with alien technology, he became the supervillain Black Hand. Years later, extraterrestrials endowed him with a deathly touch, making him even more efficient at killing. He eventually found a grander purpose when an evil entity called Scar vowed to make him the physical embodiment of death if he rid himself of his humanity. As a result, Hand slayed his entire family before blowing his own brains out. This allowed Scar to resurrect Hand as a being that could control the dead. 5. Professor Pig Professor Pig's name is so ridiculous you would assume this supervillain was made up as a joke. But in reality, Pig is one of the scariest Batman villains of recent times. Before he was a masked madman, Laszlo Valentin was a chemist for the covert operations agency, Spiral. It was his job to create an identity-destroying chemical similar to Alzheimer's. After he was exposed to his own work, it erased his mind, allowing him to create a brand new personality called Professor Pig. 
Now, if you want to be a supervillain in Gotham, you need goons. But Pig's minions aren't just random thugs or gangsters. Each of his underlings, which he calls Dollatrons, have been rendered genderless and lobotomized by Pig. Each of their personalities have been erased, and they have no purpose save to protect their master. 4. Ragdoll Peter Merkel was born triple-jointed, making him the most naturally limber man in the world. He used this unique flexibility to become a masterclass contortionist at a carnival. When the carnival closed, Merkel was left penniless and so became a supervillain called Ragdoll, using his extensible body to break in and out of banks and jewelry stores. When he had a son called Peter Jr., Merkel was disgusted his child didn't have the same contortion abilities, and so disowned him. Peter Jr. was so disheartened, he spent 12 years Years, having his bones removed one by one and replacing them with rotatable prosthetics. Because he's had hundreds of surgeries, Peter Jr. is covered from head to toe in stitches. Although he's clearly demented, this incarnation of Ragdoll adores his distorted appearance. In fact, he loves being known as the weird one of any supervillain team so much, he will try and kill other zany criminals like the Mad Hatter or Harley Quinn for hogging the spotlight. Being different is a good thing, but this guy probably took it a bit too far. 3. Junior if you thought the original ragdoll Peter Merkel mistreated his son, what he did to his daughter Alex was far worse. Peter would force an incestuous relationship on his daughter, traumatizing her for life and giving her a complex around her beauty, which she blamed for the encounters. To avoid being sexually exploited again, Alex disfigured her body and sewed her eyes permanently open. She became a crime boss called Junior under the guise that she was a man. She would also develop a phobia around people seeing her, going into a frenzy whenever anyone saw her face. If she thought any of her men were disloyal, she had them violated before killing them. 2. Despotellis Despotellis is the smallest member of the Sinestro Corps, measuring one millimeter, but despite this, he has the highest kill count by far. How he does this is simple. Despotellis is a virus. He was created in a military medical facility on Condra. After becoming sentient and breaking free, he traveled from planet to planet, spreading disease everywhere he went. He is so toxic, he can kill anything within a matter of minutes. As small as he is, Despotellus is one of the most dangerous beings in the universe. 1. Crib Despotellus may be the deadliest member of the Sinestro Corps, but Crib has to be the most disturbing. Crib believed the most efficient way to instill fear was to attack the families of the Corps' greatest enemy, the Green Lanterns. She travels around the cosmos, killing Green Lanterns, kidnapping their children, and placing them inside a cage-like sack that's attached to her spine. Looking at an alien with crying babies latched onto its back has to be one of the most disturbing images in all of DC Comics. When she learned a Green Lantern called Amni Pre was pregnant, she forced members of her Corps to pin her down so Crib could deliver the baby. Crib wanted to do this just so she could witness the expression on Amni's face as she took away her newborn. And yes, that, uh, that qualifies with a 10 out of 10 on the messed up meter. Good job, I, I guess. And there you have it folks, 10 messed up DC villains you won't believe exist. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at YouSlideDogU. I'm Will for What Culture. thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.